The time is now one o'clock. I'll call our meeting order and we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Okay, first item on the agenda today is Ryan Getz from our highway department. Good afternoon, commissioners. Um, the community crossing did this first, as you can see on the uh, camera on our desktop, then in Brown Incorporated, and then noticed that it's online. $127,378 for the paving of Lincoln Way from US 30 to the Los Angeles County line. So I'd like to make the recommendation that we select from the Athens Commissioners to cross and approach the event approving that way. Any questions? I, um, I mean, Andy made note that the bids were really close. It was a very competitive process. But I would have a motion. I'll move to uh, accept the bid from Brendan Brown for the, the project as presented. And I will second and uh, call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And opposed the same, that passes. Can I ask you a question out of curiosity? Just so wondering how things are going these days. Is this below estimate, over estimate, at estimate? That is below our original estimate. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I'll get the paperwork around and maybe the next meeting we can get some pictures on that. Sure. Next on the list, if we're ready to move on, is the right of way ticket application. There's a road cut in Mexico. The address is Presley Road. Yes, 1286 East Crestle Road with Bell and Gas Service. And we need to branch across the road to be slow. I don't see any. Anything out of the ordinary? Is this the, like normal where our guys would be there to yeah, either right. supervise or do the backfill and yep, stuff? Take care of the backfill. I don't see any issue with it. I move to approve the request as presented. I'll second and call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And opposed to saying that passes unanimously. There's two members present. Thank you. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is our drug free Indiana budget. Uh, Hunter, if you want to come forward and introduce yourself. Yes, so I'm Mario Rodrigo. I'm the coordinator with uh, Drug Free Indiana here at Drug Free Indiana. I'm here today with the finance committee at the Coordination of Grants and Committees. Um, so, just a little bit about where the grant money comes from. It's a fee collected at the course for certain substance abuse offenders. Uh, this fee collected once they have been arrested and convicted of their offense that day. Um, pretty much the finance committee made up with me and three other individuals who have not applied for a grant but we try to list a uh, conflict of interest there. When people meet, uh, discuss the criteria for everybody, make sure everybody meets that criteria, and that's what we have today for the finance committee is students. Okay. Any questions? I have none. I would move to approve the budget as presented. And I'll second and call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed to saying that's unanimous. Is there anything we need to sign on that? Or? I don't believe so. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. It's painless. <laughs> Uh, the next item on the agenda is rezoning and plat approvals. Is Nathan here? Yes. So, you know, 
pass the ordinance, we can't waive a, a second reading without all three of you here to have unanimous consent to waive the second reading. Okay. So we'll have to just introduce the ordinances and then we'll put them in the next meeting. Okay. Um, does that apply to rezonings? I thought there was a specific exception for rezonings that they could be done in one reading. But they all have to be here to waive that. I thought that was even, yeah, we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna argue with you for that. Well, I should have made mention too that um, Teresa's not here today. She's on planned uh, vacation. So we excused her since this is a holiday week. Um, we'll start with the easy thing first, uh, is the plat for Neely Place. It's one lot plat um, along Kaiser Road. Uh, it comes from the Planning Commission at their May meeting. Um, if I recall, it was a unanimous proposal or uh, approval. Any questions for Nathan on that one? No, I have no questions. I'll move to approve this report to the presenter. And that's going to be acceptable, Andy, the, for the for the plats? Yes, for the plats, that's fine. Yes. Okay. I'll second and call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And oppose the same, and that passes unanimously. Thank you. And I'll leave this here for you to sign afterwards. Uh, so going on to the rezoning request, uh, the first one, uh, 24 WREC2, um, REZ2 uh, is for a request uh, of 119 acres from AG Agricultural to AGP, Agricultural Production down in Jefferson Township. Uh, this basically extends existing areas of AGP. Uh, one area is uh, actually uh, immediately adjacent to existing AGP, the others in the same vicinity as all of the next section over. Uh, so this comes to you with a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission, uh, which was uh, by a vote of seven to one to one with one against and one abstention. Nathan is correct. I, I don't know everything in the world, so I apologize. I did look it up. He's correct that the zoning ordinance is exempt from the, the requirements. You can't pass it today. So okay. Yep. Okay. We just need to be clear in our motion that we're yep. waiting a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was fast, Andy. That yeah, was fast. That's impressive. <laughs> I don't know everything, but I'm efficient. <laughs> but I always get the answer. That's right. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Randy. Yes. Um, are these supposed to have the same? No, I just noticed that um, the Emrix rezoning is correct as rezone two. The certification uh, for Rosenberg should have been REZ3. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess I, I, I know the Emmerich family and I believe their intentions are pure and, and I see no issue with this rezoning as they've stated that it's their objective to, to uh, reiterate their commitment to keep their land in agricultural production for, for the uh, foreseeable future. So um, I would move to approve Edition 24 WREZ2 as presented. Does your motion include waiving the and, second and, and also waiving the second? Reading. Okay. Well, do you want a number? Do you want a number? Yeah. Number 2024-10. Okay, we have a motion to approve 2024-10 and waive the second reading. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand and oppose the same, and that passes. Thank you. Uh, the other rezoning, uh, 24WREZ3, is a request for rezoning from AG to PR Parks and Recreation Dis District uh, for about eight acres of a 21 and a half acre property located on 400 North uh, East of 350. It's about halfway between 350 East and 
450 East uh, in Smith Township. Uh, it's owned by uh, Shell and Susan Rosenberg. Uh, their use that's going on right now is, is a private gun range. It's a commercial gun range, but it's private. It's not just anybody walk in and, and be able to uh, shoot at the range. Uh, the PR district was chosen in that it was most similar. Gun ranges aren't explicitly stated in the zoning code, which is kind of a omission. Uh, but PR, the uses in PR were most similar to gun ranges. And after we looked at some of the uh, process that happened with the new code being adopted in 2006, it seems like gun ranges may have been intended to be in PR, but they were not so done. Uh, so this then was before the planning commission uh, for a rezoning, and then if it would be approved, it would still need to have a special exception after that. Uh, in discussing it, uh, this comes to you with a unfavorable recommendation, not so much about the use, but the idea that the zoning uh, is not necessarily the appropriate avenue. Uh, basically, the thought summarized is perhaps gun ranges should be allowable in the AG district. Um, again, kind of a, a long discussion uh, at the Planning Commission, Chad, you were, you were there. So, uh, so for that reason, it does come to you with a unanimous unfavorable recommendation, uh, but then also that background of, of why they uh, gave it unfavorable. I was also there at the meeting and, and uh, a lot of discussion. Um, the applicant actually, after some of that discussion, said he didn't even really want to rezone it himself. So um, I see no reason to, to change anything. So, and, and like I had said during that meeting, um, it, this isn't about the use and whether or not we like the idea of a gun range. It's about the idea of rezoning. And I, I said then, and I'll say it again. I think there's a path forward without rezoning. So um, it. it fits and is appropriate to be zoned ag, and I don't think we need to change that. So um, <clears throat> I think that uh, along with accepting uh, recommend recommendations from the Planning Commission, I think we also need to ask that the Planning Commission take on commercial gun ranges as a, an issue that they start to dissect and figure out what, what is appropriate if it's uh, if, it, if it's a special exception in AG or if it needs to be rezoned or, you know, whatever. So that's my position. Yeah. Is that a directive that you'll pass along to them in the next meeting or how does that work? And if you want to make that a directive, we will do so, yes. And we do. And I, would that need to be in the form of a motion? I don't think that needs to be in the form of a motion. Maybe you want to make a motion to deny the request. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I will to deny the uh, request for rezoning of the petition 24-W-REZ3. Okay, I have a motion and I'll stack up the motion. Is there any further discussion? And then I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. What was the same in that case? Thank you. And then I had a, another item on the agenda about a uh, standing project and um, it looks like we probably have a alternative to that project right now. So I'm going to withdraw that request uh, for the time being, maybe come back to it in a few years. Um, so. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up is Brad Allen on Bridge 51 Plan Design Consultant. Good afternoon. Um, so as you are aware, um, three of us, uh, Commissioner Schumann, um, Highway Director Brian Getz, and myself all uh, were uh, on a scoring committee for selecting a design consultant for the replacement of Bridge 51. Um, I provided the scoring tabulation sheet in your packet so you could see the summary of the scores and for discussion with um, the attorney, we just need to confirm the and the selection. And the, the highest scoring consultant is Engineering Resources Incorporated or PR. I would move to uh, 
except uh, DRA is the consultant that was chosen by the scoring process. Okay, I'll second. Any further discussion? And then I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All right, motion carries unanimously. There were a number of very good proposals we received, and we're thankful for that. It was a very difficult process for me personally, as it was my first time going through that process. So um, it was very challenging and, and difficult to uh, to select just one because it was a very close uh, situation. They they were very close. Yes, it seemed like splitting hairs. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for um, serving. I'll go ahead and send out letters and um, the GRI and notice to proceed. Thank you. Um, Scott or Nathan, it beats Scott, right? You're here to talk about the geo permitting. Okay, the next item is geo permits. I submitted a contract to Andy to review for geo permits. Uh, we already have an existing contract with Schneider uh, out of Indianapolis to run our geo permits. That's the both the building permit and the health permit utilized. This is an additional contract to uh, bring food permits online. Uh, since we do a lot of mailing with that, this will be enable customers to their permits without coming to the office, submit that information there. And it also gives us some extra time to um, upgrade some of our existing permit processes and it gives some time for the building department to ask any questions or bring any more of their projects online as well. And the price on that? I think it was around 7,200 and something, or 7,300 or something like that. I mean, $3,792 for the 24 hour setup. Yeah. And then $3,792 for 24 hours annually. I did look at our amount of money we brought in for 2023. Our septic well permits more than covers this cost, and the food permits double. So okay. we, we make it up annually to cover the cost of this building. And again, this will yeah. not happen every year, it's make normal maintenance cost is yep. different from this, so. Okay. Yep. And you have the funds available. Yep, to budget it in. Okay. Move to approve, approve that uh, request as presented. And I'll second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And then passes unanimously. Go ahead and return that certificate to them, let's sign it, get moving on that. Scott, you have another item on the agenda? Too. Yes, we also submitted, uh, it's been in the works for a couple months now, a um, contract with the American Heart Association slash AmeriCorps for an intern uh, starting in September, finishing next May, that would work in the under the health department's direction for heart health for the community. I think uh, your attorney did review it, sent some notes back, they've gone back and forth. I think they've come to an agreement. Ready to go. I just need permission to go ahead and sign that as the as indicated in the contract under the signer for that and turn it to them. Okay. Move to approve Scott to sign the contract as requested. And I'll second and call for the vote. All those in favor is wrecking. All those the same that passes unanimously. The only other thing I had was I had sent out proposed budget that now included HFI funds. I got the, uh, presented that last week to the council. Didn't know if the commissioners had any questions on that. They thought everything looked good on that. I think it looks great. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate your work that you put on that. Sure. About $353,000 for partners in the community to uh, for health initiatives and bolster things that they're already doing. Uh, I have a hurting direction for the council, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, backing up on the agenda, we've got the Whitney County Covered Bridge Certificate. We have to go through this every year. We don't actually have any covered bridges in Whitney County, but we do have to sign off on that. Have you had a chance to look at that? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I would just entertain a motion to accept Pepperidge Bridge certificate. So moved. And I'll second and call for vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And opposed to saying that that passes unanimously. I was able to go up uh, to the auditor's office on Friday and review claims and payroll. Um, and I'd make a motion to approve payroll. Second. I have a motion to second. I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your right hand. And that motion carries. There was one claim that after you finished the vast majority of that on Friday, there was one claim I was going up and approved about an hour ago. Okay, I'll second call for the vote. All those in favor raise right hand. I would oppose the same and that passes unanimously. And the last item on the agenda is meeting minutes from our May, not sure on the date on that, but don't think be the June 17th regular meeting. Have you had a chance to reveal? Yeah, uh, everything looks to be accurate, so I will move to approve the uh, minutes from the June 17th commission. And I'll second, call for the vote, all those in favor, raise your right hand. And opposed to saying that passes unanimously. At this time, we'll open up for public comment. If anyone would like to come forward, if you have anything to add to today's meeting. And Andy, Andy, do you have anything to add? Nope. Pamela? No. Rob, just uh, hope everybody has a great holiday week and enjoy some time off with family or people you're close to. Okay, thanks everyone for coming. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>